Hello guys, welcome back once again to my channel here where we talk about immigration, Nigerians abroad and um, others too. But um, our focus is mainly on Nigerians living in the diaspora. Okay, once again we bring you an update. And this time around we are going to the United Kingdom. Now, something very strange has been happening to Nigerian men when it comes to traveling abroad. There has been several videos of our people warning men not to, you know, marry <laughs> abroad or to be very, very careful about women in general. Because even the one you marry back home in Nigeria and bring to abroad may likely even be worse than the one living abroad. Now, in this video that I'm about to share with you, you are going to see the UK police in fact, warning, so it has gotten to this point where the UK police have received thousands of calls from Nigerian wives telling them to evict their husband. So this time around, they went and organized a, um, a kind of, will I say, workshop for women, brought all of them together and they are telling them to please stop calling the police on their husband to evict them. So Nigerian women, what is going on? This thing is getting out of hand. Now, there was a woman who also made a similar video on TikTok. That video has been going viral and trending up and down. She was talking about Nigerian women and Ghana women, that about her own, those in Europe here. Okay, Nigerian women and Ghana women, how they have become single mothers by chasing their husbands away. So things that are not worth calling the police are the things that Nigerian um, women would call the police on their husband for. And before you know it, whew, the husband will be thrown out. And the same woman who threw the husband out will now bring the boyfriend in to come and be staying with her. This is very, very embarrassing. So they made this video and then warned them and cautioned them and also begged them. At the same time, they used all means available to tell them to stop calling them on their husband. Now, let me quickly take a look. Um, let's take a swipe at them um, as a, at uh, a write up here. They say UK police tells Nigerian wives, stop, stop reporting your husband to us. It has been estimated that more than 70% of the Yoruba women in England, Wales, and Ireland are single mothers, aka. Dalemosu, who threatened the fathers of their children with the police because of the welfare benefit. In this video, the Metropolitan Police in London brought out a Yoruba police officer to warn the Yoruba women to stop calling the police on the fathers of their children so that the children will not be deprived of fatherly cares in their lives and to stop them from being victims of perpetrators of knife crimes. This has become common among African women in the diaspora. They should allow the men to be involved in their children's lives. Children need the participation of both parents in their lives. So you can see what's going on here. This is, this is it. I'm not the one who wrote it. Before somebody will start saying, oh, you mentioned a particular tribe. Of course, I know that this thing happens to, uh, um, to everybody, all the women this message is to you all so nobody is exempted all the african women this is this has become a culture abroad this is what you guys now do you see so it is very shameful it's very very shameful now let me play you the video where um the, you see that aba unrelated uk police tells nigerian wives stop reporting your husbands to us it has been estimated that 70 percent of the Yoruba women, they were specific in this uh, uh, um, in this particular post, okay, because of the welfare. So similar thing is happening in Germany as well. Nigerian women, hmm, they chase their husbands out because of the the welfare, the money that they receive for the children. So let me know what you guys think about it. Let's quickly take um, a look at the video. <laughs> Nobody wants to know where is charge. I draft here our Nigerian man by the come on, pay me But today, what are we saying is the opposite. 
is the opposite. I think we need to change our orientation. Those of you that feel like, oh, your husband is not important, go back to the roots. See that man, even though he's not doing anything, being at home, sometimes you might, be, you might want to talk to your child, but your child might not want to listen to you, you might want to listen to his dad. I want to listen to his dad. If the dad say, stop it, I can I stop it. But maybe as a mother, you're there on your own, you say, stop it, you just say, what she say? But when the daddy say, stop, he will stop. Even though the man is not doing it, let's try as much as possible to manage it. I know there's nothing like manage, but sometimes it's the way we build our home. Because our women feel like the man is nobody because of the way the society we find ourselves. Some of us back home, you have to the benefit. No, no. Oh, teacher, oh, teacher, I will give you. You must see it here. But, I did it on. Ah, if you're back home, I'll go home. I'll go home. I'll go home. Benefit. And he said, he only can't check and check with all our. Sisters, brothers, before you. You go back home and see some of them, they are looking better than me and you. But you, when they call you, bring, you will think that if you don't send to them, they will die next minute. Think about your home here. This is your home. This is where you live. The society we are living, if we allow it to be corrupted with the attitudes of the children of the youth of today, it becomes problem. It's not just for the police. It's for everybody. All those children that they are being killed, you get to you say, maybe if your child is not at home, you'll be thinking, oh, where's this child? Where's my daughter? Where's my son? Until that child enter the house before you can have peace of mind. Before you can have peace of mind. We just try to help. The situation, we have to work together. As my colleague said, we have to work together. He said, clap hands together, it make it work. But if you just say, Mm, no, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to do this. <coughs> we, the police, police here, we're here to help you. We are not your enemy. We're your friends. If you have any problem, any issue, if you say no of us, you can stop out on the road, discuss with us. We will give you an advice. If it's something that we don't have, we will take it to the higher authority in the office and they will give us the right chair, appropriate advice. I drag Nikwe along a little marital scene. All right. So you 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 can see that you can see the the police officer there talking to these women. So in regard in respect to that, another woman a woman also made a similar video calling out her fellow gender to come and <laughs> listen. Now watch. Nigerian women in London, UK, stop reporting your husband. London Metropolitan Police have sent a warning lesson to you, Nigerians, to stop reporting your husband. For these people to go to this level, you know that mm -hmm. they've had enough. They are tired. Different fight cases, different cases, different reports on daily basis. What is it? What is it? You think because you have the power, you have the rights, as a woman, you live in the Western world. Any little misunderstanding that you had with your husband, you're already calling police. Mm. Things that you can settle mm. amicably among yourself, you're already calling police. Mm. These people said they've had enough. You should stop reporting, stop coming, stop calling them for every little thing that doesn't make sense. Mm. Okay? I'm so ashamed when I heard this news this afternoon. For these people to go to this level, you know that they have had enough. Even the small, small omokekere, that even just entered the UK less than one year. You're already reporting your husband. You're already calling police. Mm. The country you just came in, you are not even sure of settlements. You don't know what's going to pump up tomorrow. 
you're already calling police. But you've lived with that same man for more than 10 years in Nigeria. So, under one year now in the UK, you are still, you're calling police, reporting here and there. This is a lesson to each and every one of you. Nigerians, please, let us respect ourselves in this part of the world. Everything must not be we, 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 we at the front line. No, they should remember, they should call us for good things, not bad. I beg, we will stop to the reports. When you have misunderstanding with your husband, try and iron it out. Try and settle it with him. Eh? Men in this part of the world, they are not hard. They are not difficult people. They understand. They are not like those ones back home. I don't see the reason why you should be having misunderstanding all the time with your husband. That we warrant you to be calling police. Uh-uh. All right. I bet you heard from this, our sister, while she was delivering her, um, what do you call it? delivering her advice there you know to to nigerian women so you know it has always been nigerians 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 and nigerians very very sad situation right there please guys in case you want to send money home um help me uh, by using this very app tap tap send their rate is very high i i i promise you and then if you use my promo code, the good thing about it is that you are going to get five pounds for those of you sending money from UK. Those in Europe, Italy, Germany, Luxembourg, uh, Switzerland, Sweden, just name them, Holland and all the rest of them. Um, you are going to get five euro on top of your money. Then ten dollars for those in USA and Canada. Twenty five AED for those in Dubai. So guys, please. Use my promo code right there, which is a critics news to run your transaction anytime. And it is absolutely free if you are using this very promo code for the very first time, I promise you. So don't miss out on this. Okay. Thank you and peace out. I'll see you guys on the next update. Stay tuned and go nowhere. Share the videos for me. Like and drop your comment on this particular matter. I want to know what you think about it.